Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Cracker Pack series. Today, opening up a 2014 corset pack. I believe this is the third or fourth time we've actually gotten one of these. Um, I don't think we've really pulled anything too crazy at this point, but hopefully we will in this one. At the top of the list is Archangel of Thune, uh, followed closely behind by Mutavault. So hopefully we get something interesting. I know there are a couple other decent cards in here as well, including a few Planeswalkers. So hopefully we get something interesting. Uh, starting, starting off our commons, we have Lay of the Land. We have a Soul Mender. We have a Lightning Talons. We have a Vile Rebirth. A Deadly Recluse, a great card. A Striking Sliver, that's right, I forgot Slivers were in the set. Celestial Flare, another great card. Glade Cover Scout, another great card. Uh, a Trained Condor. Altars Reap. And our first uncommon, we have a Spell Blast. A Doom Blade, a great removal spell. A Barrage of Expendables. And then our rare is a Trading Post. So this is an interesting card. Of course, we have an Island and a Token. Uh, trading Post is a forecast artifact. You can pay one and tap it to discard a card and you gain four life. Uh, for the same uh, cost, you can pay one life and then put a zero white uh, goat creature token onto the battlefield. Pay the same cost, sacrifice a creature, return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand, and then pay the same cost again, sacrifice an artifact, and you're able to draw a card. Um, I know this was kind of a silly card at the time, but I think there are actually some silly uses for it. Uh, a couple people came up with some decks around it. I don't know how viable they were. Um, I do believe in Commander this sees a bit of play just because it's sort of a toolbox card, right? Like you can either gain life, get a creature, uh, get some recursion going, or draw some cards. So it is actually somewhat worthwhile, but I think just because you can, you have to tap it to do this, uh, it's really a one-shot deal, um, obviously once per turn. So. Not the best card, but interesting nonetheless, and uh, hopefully we'll get something in the next 2014 pack that's a little more exciting. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to like or comment down below. Make sure to subscribe if you really enjoyed it, so that way you can get notifications for all of our videos. All you have to do is turn that little bell on and be subscribed to our channel. Uh, in the meantime, though, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching.